Uh, hello. I'm going to present uh, just the story of civilians. <laughs> okay, okay. It's... Uh, to repeat, it is a mystery thriller, a civilians produced by Yuri Kristinsky and Sergei Badrov. Just, uh, we just wait for the video part. And as I am presenting just the story, uh, any question about uh, business part, production part, uh, could be asked afterwards uh, because our producer Yuri Kristinsky is here. Okay, uh, the story begins when a group of strangers wakes up in some dark, mysterious room. Uh, they have no idea how they got there. And uh, they look around and they realize that the place is surrounded by blind walls. The only thing that looks like an exit is the arch portal with some electronic locks. But it's blocked with a stone slab. So it becomes clear that they are, they are trapped. And at that moment, some machinery starts spinning around. Uh, they, uh, the peculiar robotic head switches on and starts telling something what sounds really, really confusing. The, the people are welcomed to the trial. They are required to wait till the drawing procedure is over and then to memorize some card from some box. So it uh, looks like somebody is playing some, uh, some lousy prank on them. So uh, wishing to get rid of this nonsense and go home, they do what the robot said. At that point, some device hooks up a metal collar around the neck of every person. The robot switches on again. The robot commands uh, to vote for the person who will leave the trial at once. Immediately, some characters express an intention to leave. Uh, the people take a vote, and when the last voter raises his hand, the people suddenly startle. The happy winner turns back and sees a horrifying masked figure approach from the darkness. He freezes in fear, and the visitor shoots them through the head. Now the people understand what nightmare they are caught in. The robot commands everybody to take their seat. Rays of light strike to the room, blinding everybody. The robot commands two, two owners of black card to choose their victim. In a second, another gunshot is heard. The church lights go down and yet another body is lying on the table. People, starts, uh, people start to understand how ingeniously the trap is designed. Uh, most of them got white cards, but two of them got black cards. To get the card, one must get the key. To get the key, the heart of its owner must stop. That means, in order to escape, two black card owners should be identified and put to death. People have no choice. They agree to hunt down and expose these murderers. Uh, one fellow comes with scientific approach by constructing the lie detector. Another fellow acts with deception, uh, plotting, misleading, and setting up the innocents. Uh, the third fellow uh, the special forces vet just refuses to participate in this hunt and starts to prepare an attack on the shooter. After some missteps and tragic losses, the one black card owner is finally found. In the end, only four people survive, and when they come extremely close to unmasking the last murderer, the an exit opens. They are free to go. There's only one problem. If they leave now, the one who deceived them all the time and who is responsible for the deaths of many innocent people will get away with it. 
they won't ever know who it was. But only one who makes the right choice will have a chance to know what lies behind this place and what happens to the winner of this deadly game. Okay, that's all. Thank Fair. you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, read, read the screenplay if you want to, to know what's next. <laughs>